Now, just over a year ago, a class action lawsuit was filed against the Democratic National Committee and uh, disgraced former DNC chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Now, uh, this lawsuit basically alleges that the DNC violated its own charter by favoring Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders in the Democratic par uh, primary. Now, we know from WikiLeaks and we know from other sources uh, that, and, and just from looking at how they treated Bernie Sanders during the primary, we can tell that, yes, they did use dirty tricks uh, like making unfavorable uh, debate schedules after crucial primaries. Uh, and you even had some DNC members secretly and not so secretly helping the Clinton campaign gain unfair advantages over the Sanders campaign. This was blatant, okay? It was so blatant that even Harry Reid jumped in. He said everyone knew that this was not a fair deal, the, the entire primary, right? He added that Debbie Wasserman Schultz should have resigned much sooner than she did. She was the one who made these debate schedules and essentially put her entire body on the scale for Hillary Clinton. And of course, she wasn't the only one. You also had Donna Brazile, who, while she was at CNN, passing questions to the Hillary Clinton campaign. So lots of shady bullshit going on here. And rightly so, people were pissed. Now, the lawsuit was filed to, uh, or with the aim of providing the millions of people who gave to the DNC uh, with expectations that to run an, uh, an, an impartial primary, restitution for the fact that the DNC did not run an impartial primary. Now, this isn't be people being mad about Bernie not winning, okay? These are people that feel cheated, who had given their hard-earned money to the DNC, and they expected a fair contest. Now, we know there wasn't a fair contest, but if there wasn't uh, the DNC uh, leaked emails, and had they actually not run an unfair contest, and Bernie had still lost, there wouldn't be a, a lawsuit. We would see that, okay, there was a fair primary and more people just came out for Hillary. Okay, fine. We didn't get what we wanted, but let's move on. That's obviously not what happened here. There was shenanigans. There was, you know, uh, I guess if you want to call it rigging, that's fine. Um, there was, you know, certain actions taken by the DNC that made this an, Im uh, an unfair, impartial contest that was weighted heavily on the side of Hillary Clinton. Okay. Now the problem is that without this, Bernie Sanders could have won. Um, and, or, or maybe, uh, he, maybe he wouldn't have won. Maybe Hillary still would have won. We'll never know. We'll never know. Cause it was not a fair contest. Now, um, unfortunately for a lot of the people seeking this rest uh, restitution, the judge in this case, uh, federal judge Williams Locke had dismissed this lawsuit after several months of litigation. Now, it's important to note that the DNC's uh, attorneys argued in this case, and we talked about that, uh, that the DNC would be well within their rights to select their own candidate. This is something that they argued, that the DNC's own lawyers had argued during the trial. They said, uh, and, and uh, this is Bruce Spiva uh, who said this, he said, we could have voluntarily decided that, look, we're going to go into back rooms like they used to and smoke cigars and pick the candidate that way. It seems like what they did in this situation. And they said, yes, we admit that we can do that. Well, what are you going to do? We're not going to give your money back. That's our money now. And it doesn't matter that we consciously uh, put our thumb on the scale for Hillary Clinton. It doesn't matter. We're allowed to do that. Our charter doesn't mean a damn thing to us. So that's what they're doing. And of course, that doesn't sit well with the millions of people who expected a fair primary and with their own charter. And despite that, the case was still dismissed. Now, why is that? Well, that's very interesting. Um, the court uh, dismissing the lawsuit had stated, in evaluating Clinton's case at, at this stage, the court assumes their allegations are true that the DNC and Wasserman Schultz held a palpable uh, bias in favor of Clinton and sought to propel her ahead of her Democratic opponent. So in these case dismissals, uh, in these certain case dismissals, and that's what's very important about this, they assume that what the plaintiffs are saying is true, okay? Now, the assumption of a plaintiff's, uh, plaintiff's allegation is the general legal standard in the motion to dismiss stage of any lawsuit. The allegations contained in the complaint must be taken as true 
unless they are merely conclusory allegations or invalid on their face. So what the court is saying is that, no, you actually do have a pretty good case there. We've seen palpable bias. It seems very, very obvious to us after looking at the evidence that, yes, the DNC did not run a fair primary. However, the court must now decide, they said, whether plaintiffs have suffered a concrete injury particularized to them or one certainly impeding that is traceable to the DNC and its former chair's conduct, the keys to entering federal court. And the court ruled that they have indeed not. The court added that it did not consider this within its jurisdiction as well. Uh, federal courts are courts of limited jurisdiction, possessing only that power authorized by the Constitution and statute. For their part, the DNC and Wasserman Schultz have characterized the DNC's charter promise of impartiality and even-handedness as a mere political promise, political rhetoric that is not enforceable in federal courts. So that's why they dismissed the case. So they, they ruled that, look, you don't have standing. We don't have jurisdiction. And basically what the DNC argued, uh, the lawyers have argued, is that it wasn't a concrete promise. Even though it was in the charter, it was more a political promise. And politicians lie all the time. And we can't really rule on that. Okay. Now the court also continued <clears throat> that... Uh, they do not accept this uh, trivialization of the DNC's governing principles. While it may be true in the abstract that the DNC has uh, the right to have its pick of delegates to go into back rooms like they used to and smoke cigars and pick the candidate, the DNC, through its charter, had committed itself to a higher principle. The order reaffirmed that regardless of whether the primaries were tipped in Hillary Clinton's favor, the court's authority to intervene based on the allegations of the kind set forth in the plaintiff's complaint is limited at best. So... There you go. You might be thinking, shit, this is a huge, huge loss. And here's the court basically saying, yeah, if you get into the DNC, give it your own risk. However, look, that actually spells doom for the DNC. I'm going to explain why. Look, now we know, okay? And we know that, yes, they can get away with it. And after this kind of revelation... Do you think anybody is stupid enough to give money to the DNC? No. Nobody's going to want to give money. The DNC basically just screwed itself out of fundraising for the foreseeable future. Now, I've rep reported earlier already that the DNC has not been raising any money. They're actually broke. It's a mess. They're millions of dollars in debt. And even a lot of their big donors are not coming back. Now, of course, that doesn't mean the big donors aren't being involved, they're actually also giving to the DCCC uh, and to Hillary's super PAC and other Democratic organizations, centrist Democratic organizations. Uh, but the DNC, they're not giving to them. And the small donors are also not giving to the DNC. This organization is in a world of hurt. So anybody who wants to see the, Dem uh, the, the, the Democratic National Committee burn itself down they may have just done that themselves. Okay. Now, as for the millions of people that have been defrauded, there's a slight bit of hope to, for them too. Again, since this was dismissed on standing and jurisdiction, if they can find somebody who has that proper standing and to find a court that does have the jurisdiction to rule on this, they can file again. This was not dismissed with prejudice, meaning they can refile. Okay. But... Also, if the point was to get the DNC to admit or to find out if they had indeed ran an unfair primary, well, I have to say mission accomplished because it's fairly certain, it's fairly clear that they indeed did. And so this is actually sort of good news because this essentially uh, is the death of the current DNC in its current form. And that I think should give a lot of people a uh, you know, uh, it, it should make a lot of people a little bit more happy because if that organization dies, it can be replaced with something that actually serves the voters and serves the people instead of the giant donors. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, 
please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.